Hey everyone, welcome to Darth Tyrax Presents. I am Darth Tyrax and this episode we're going to do an unboxing of G.I. Joe's Classified Series Cobra Commander. Now, this is the first episode, so just a little bit of a heads up. Every episode is going to be presenting something a little different. Uh, this week is unboxing an action figure. A couple of weeks it might be a movie. I haven't decided the next episode yet. Um, albums. It could be a, a, an issue of a comic or a book. It could be a toy. It could could be anything. But this week, yeah, we're going to unbox this bad boy and um, talk about it and go from there and see how things go. So, yeah, this episode is the regular classified series Cobra Commander. There is also a Cobra Commander, I think it's called Royal. He's got a, a lighter blue coloring to him. There's also a collector's version as well, I think, with a special box and everything. I'm good with just the regular one. Um, the Classified series is very much like the Marvel Legends series and the Star Wars Black series. So they're decent quality figures. They're pretty poseable. <clears throat> And in the case of these, I don't know if the Marvel ones do it because I don't collect Marvel, but in case of these, they do come with other options. Uh, this particular one has a couple of hands, and uh, if you can see there, a couple of hands there, and a couple of hand weapons, so like blades. Um, they're usually pretty articulate in that the elbows, shoulders, uh, bicep area, ankles, knees, hips, head, things like that, they, they pose pretty well, actually. And then having the other options lets you put them in different poses. Like in this case, he's got a finger that points, so he could be pointing to give orders and things like that. Now, one of the things I like about this packaging, and much like the Black Series, is it's a square box. It's not a blister on a card. It's not weirdly shaped. It's a straight up flat box. You can put it down, you put stuff on top of it. It shows everything here. And that's great for display purposes. It, it It's so much easier to display something like this than have to take it out or hang it on the wall because it's on a blister or uh, display on a shelf actually with the blister because sometimes they're unbalanced. They can't stand up right. You need to do something to hold them in place. So first and foremost, that is good. I, I like this. My Black Series figures, they're on a shelf. They're stacked. They're side by side. I've got pops on top of them, whatever the case is. Just that much easier to display. So that's a that's a, a a good start right there so now we're going to do something that collectors everywhere are about to scream we're going to open the box and it's just a simple tape across the back here that i can tell so we'll get that sliced open there we go there's no odd pieces or tabs sticking out so that's good it's a simple little flap and we'll do this carefully so I can put it back afterwards. Pull that out. Oh yeah, okay, that comes out nice and easy. The box has actually got a nice display on it there, a little cobra symbol in the back. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything tying them in, so that's nice too. Um, a lot of these toys, when you get them, they'll have little elastics or, or twist ties, and it doesn't look like these guys have any of that, so that's good. So he's right there. Um, Let's see how easy it is to get some of this stuff out. Oh, well, that popped right out nicely. So he's got a nice little one hand sword there. So if you can see that. Uh, oh, and the other thing uh, wasn't a blade. It's actually what looks to be a very interesting pistol. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, there we go. Like he's got a weird looking pistol there. Um, and then, like I said, he's got the two hand options here. There we go. Okay, so that one's a closed fist. And then the other is a pointing finger, like I said. So, I pity the fool. Um, and then we have the figure itself. So, this is in a little tighter. So, bear with me here a second. And you can hear me taking it out, obviously. There we go. Yeah, he popped it actually pretty well. So, here's the figure itself. So, we get him in there, get a nice little close-up there. So, you can see, 
It's actually pretty well detailed, front and back. So you got his little half cape. And uh, like I said, the head's fairly articulated, so you can move it around, nod side to side. The arms themselves, again, back and forth, up and down, so on and so forth. Same thing, ankles, feet, hips, torso. So that does move around pretty well. You can pose them pretty pretty articulately by and large, especially with a lot of the pictures I've seen. Um, and yeah, so you look at it, he's got some nice detail on, the, on the, the, the uniform and things like that too. Then in the case of the hands, really they just pop out. So you just gotta pull them out like that. And then, yeah, there we go. And the fist would just pop back in. You just gotta carefully slide that back in. So now, and even the, even the hands have a bit of articulation if you can see that there. Uh, so now he's clenching his fist. The other hand is open for holding the weapons. And even those are easy enough to do once you get the hang of it. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. Um, yeah, there we go. Get that in there. And the hand is set up so that the finger is actually on the trigger. So it's actually pretty nice that way. But overall, it's actually a really nice figure. And if, if I had the space and the um, materials to do it, because they do come with a foot peg, so you get a stand for it. I would gladly put these on a stand or on a shelf like this. They'd be a pain to clean, but still. Um, the other side of that, though, is, yeah, it's harder to display if you have them this way, because you end up with a bunch on your shelf and things like that. But in general, yeah, like even the cape, capes moves around and such, the belt moves around. Here, let me turn this way. Um, the belt moves around and every, everything's actually really, really nicely done on this. Like the, the jacket isn't completely hard shell plastic. As you can see, it has a bit of a flap there. Um, but overall, the figure is actually really nice. It, it's, um, and most of the figures do look actually really good. For the life of me, I don't know why there's four roadblocks, but um, yeah, so Cobra Commander. Um, I kind of missed the boat on these, unfortunately. They, they're they a really nice series, and uh, the, yeah, they came out a, a they started coming out a little while ago, and I missed out on some of the ones I wanted. I'll have to get them off the secondary market, essentially. But um, if you can grab them, they, they're if you like G.I. Joe, they're, they're actually a really well well made series of figures and at the six inch size, which if my understanding is that's fairly standard now for a lot of this style of figure. Um, yeah, I, I, I myself am looking for specific ones. Uh, I'm not a completionist when it comes to these things. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, in, in general, like I said, the figure, the only down, the only disappointing thing I would say is he didn't come with an alternative head. Um, Cobra Commander is is known to both wear his battle helmet, but also wear a hood. Now, I'm not going to get into the reasons why there is no hood. There's rumors and innuendo as to why. I'm not going to get into that. It is a minor disappointment on an otherwise really nice figure. So I would recommend it. And there's really no other detracting features to it. Um, the detail is pretty good as are with most of these figures at that size, they can do a pretty good detailed rendition. And it's really good in that sense. And like I said, the packaging, a straight up box with the whole open concept front is great for display purposes. Um, if, you, if you're taking it out, then it really doesn't matter, but the boxes work to be put in the background as well, because as you saw, it had the, the Cobra symbol on it. Um, but, yeah, if I was going to rate this out of 10, this figure would probably, I'd rate it probably about an 8. Um, 10 out of 10 would have to be like just absolutely stellar. But for this, I'd say the series on a, on a whole, the figures look like about an 8 out of 10 across the board. Um, the sculpts are really nice. The material work is very nice. The details are good. And this is just one of, I think, almost 30 figures they've announced. Not all out, but they're announced. And, you know, they've got some of the favorites. There's Snake Eyes. There's a Storm Shadow, though. The version they picked was odd. But and there's Firefly. There's Beachhead. There's Flint. There's Red Ninja, which 
if anybody's an old school GI Joe uh, fan, knows exactly what that is. Uh, and they've got things like the GI Joe Trooper, the GI Joe Viper. Those were exclusives. They're a little harder to get, but they did come out with a GI Joe, um, a Cobra Infantry, not GI Joe Viper, Cobra Viper, Cobra Trooper, um, and Cobra uh, Infantry, which became the generic infantry guy. They also had Zartan. Uh, there's actually there's two Snake Eyes. One is just Snake Eyes. Then there's Snake Eyes in his version one commando outfit. And uh, with Timber, that's a little harder to find too, but they're coming out with some other stuff too. They did some for the recent Snake Eyes movie, which I'm hoping to watch probably tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then, uh, yeah, um, those figures look okay, the, the movie ones, but because they're based off the movie, they're not going to look like what someone like me would expect. But overall, yeah, great figure. Um Again, good detail, comes with some options that allow you to switch things up. The packaging is great for display purposes. And uh, I can't say, no, I, I can't not recommend it. If you're a G.I. Joe fan, it's definitely the kind of figure to get. And, and, it's, and it's definitely something you should pick up. And if you find it at retail, great. Because retail, it's a pretty good price. Secondary market right now, some are already doubled to triple in price. That'll probably come down after a year or two. They usually do. And that's how I'm actually going to have to get some of them is uh, secondary market at a later time. Um, so, yeah. So, presented Cobra Commander. Great figure. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.